Well, not the way we wanted to start this road trip off, especially against a team we is behind us, especially against a team that played a back-to-back. -back. Yes, we played a back-to-back, -back, but they had more travel time than we did. Um, again, they were in Canada, so that obviously they had to deal with customs, so they had a longer flight than us. We we're coming up from Florida to Carolina. Again, don't have to deal with customs, so again, less travel time. Um, we, we came out like we had less travel time in the first period, scoring two goals as Marcia So and Barkov got two quick goals, put up so, two nothing. And then, um, you know, with the, the one of the goals we had was um, a power play goal. First time Carolina has given up a power play goal in 25 straight chances. As their penalty kill has been outstanding as of late. They're one of the they are the top teams in the league. Uh, but then, pretty much after that power goal, play goal, we got absolutely nothing. And then the second, we just imploded on ourselves. We looked like the team that was coming from Canada having to deal with going through customs as we gave up three straight goals in a span of three minutes and 30 seconds. Um, just how? How do you blow a lead like that? How? Now, and another thing I just don't understand is why is Gallant not using Bukestad? One of your top five players on the team on the power play. Why? Like, I understand Morgan's doing well, but obviously Bart Bukestad has been proving himself over the years to be a solid goal scorer and player. So why are you not playing him on the power play? We had, we had seriously like four plus minutes of power play time. Bukestad not on any of them. Any of the power play units. Like, clearly, obviously, you want to put Yager, Barkov, um, you know, on the first line. Trocek and stuff. But why is Bukestad not being used to his ability? That must be honestly frustrating to Bukestad. It'd be... It, it's frustrating to me as a freaking fan. Like, you're not using your best players to your asset. Like, I... I try to defend Gallant sometimes, but just sometimes he just makes the most boneheadedest moves ever. Um, and this is one of them. He has not used Bukestad once since he has come back on the power play. He used him on a penalty kill, but Bukestad can store a goal. So you should put him on something where you can get goals like the um, power play. Hey, but what do I know? I'm just a guy that does YouTube channels for the Panthers. I'm not a coach. <laughs> um, so, it's a, not a great start to the this very long road trip. Tuesday's game is not going to be easy at all. Facing off against Chicago. Um, really have had a tough time playing in Chicago. Uh, always have had a tough time playing Chicago in general. So... Um, just a uh, really disappointed, really disappointed game. You know, we came out, we should have not let our foot off the pedal in this one. We, and we did after the, after the first. Um, so not good. We, 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 uh, plus we could have been on like a point out of a playoff position right now. And we're not. Again, it's still early, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But just really, this was a game we should have taken, and we did it. We did it. So, um, let me know what you think down below. As always, if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up, uh, comment, share, and definitely subscribe uh, to my channel if you love everything Florida Panthers. So, again, thank you all for your support. I'll see you guys after the Chicago game.